Okay, today we're going to make a Procreate color palette that you can sell on Etsy or other digital marketplaces. This is a really easy, nice kind of intro to doing passive income download products. They're popular, but they don't sell for a ton of money. But remember, once you make it once, you can sell it over and over and over again and just generate a nice little revenue stream. So first thing, we need to find a photo. Um, I really like using 2020 because I already pay for Envato, but you can use any free stock photo website you want. And we're just going to bounce over to this color palette generator. I will put a link in the description. This is the best one that I have found. Um, so you just upload a photo and it makes you a very large selection of colors. And that's going to be the basis of how we build a color palette. A lot of the other ones will only give you like five colors which is all right for design, but Procreate color palettes are 30 colors. So we're just gonna screenshot this and bring it over to Procreate. Okay, so we're in Procreate. You can use any canvas size you want. Um, I generally just use like my default settings for an Etsy uh, main photo thumbnail, whatever, because that makes it really easy when I wanna go export this to Etsy. But if you're uploading on other platforms, you can use that. We're just gonna bring in that screenshot that we took. And I also like to bring in the original photo I just find that sometimes you want to play with colors a little bit or you want a good visual cue of what your palette's going to look like and it really helps to have the original image there as well. So we're just going to create a new layer from here. We're also going to turn on our drawing guide. Um, this is a totally optional step. I just find it easier for myself visually. So I just make like a 30 little boxes set up so I know exactly how many colors I need to fill to create a complete palette. You know what those are going to look like. It does not have to be clean. It does not have to be neat. You're going to erase this later. But I really like to kind of organize my colors as they're going to appear on Procreate so that it's super easy. My customers know exactly what they're getting. And generally I like to do about 10 light 10 medium and 10 dark colors, just so everything's kind of well distributed across my color palette. And then we're just gonna reduce the opacity so we don't really have to pay too much attention, turn off our drawing guide, and we have, you know, a slightly more organized format for our document. So now we're gonna bounce over to the color tool, get into our palettes, and we wanna go create new palette. This will appear at the top, so if, like me, you have a ton of palettes in your Procreate settings, you might have to scroll for a while to track it down. Um, I like to title my palettes right off the hop. You can always change this later. This one, I think we're going to go with You're a Peach. I like using kind of cute names. Images are also nice because they'll give you, like, a starting point of inspiration when you're struggling to name a palette. We're going to create a new layer on top of everything else. And I like to grab a very bright or just very different color that I know is not going to be included in my palette so that I can just tick off any colors that I've already used. That way I don't end up with any duplicates. So we can start picking colors and crossing them off. And we're just holding down and using that color picker tool. Um, so that's usually just hold down with your finger. You can go into your Procreate settings and double check to make sure you haven't changed that or change that to a different gesture if you want. I just use the default. It works fine for me. You will find that, you know, using a automatic tool is not perfect. So sometimes you want to just go back in, change your hue a little bit, find another color, use your color wheel, use your original image. I find this usually doesn't happen until I'm in the last maybe five or six colors. But overall, this is a great free tool to give you kind of a baseline. And then from there, of course, you know, you can make the palette more unique, more your own, use different colors. Use the complete color palette, just figure out what looks good for your design. So 
So now that we've picked all of our colors, we have a complete palette. I'm just going to go in, erase all those green marks we made because those are on the same layer as our main color palette. And then we're just going to delete any parts of the image that we don't need. So we can delete our little guide, we can move our little palette into the center. Usually if you're making this for an actual sellable product, you're probably going to want to repaint these either into larger dots or using a stamp brush or just whatever works for that, your image. And all we're going to do is pick up those colors and then tap into our palette to set them up in the order that we like. Again, this is why you're doing your layout well the first time is very helpful, but you can rearrange these if you feel like you want to. And we're just going to add some text, make it a nice pretty little image for Etsy. Um, I get my fonts through both Envato Elements and Creative Fabrica. And then to save our palette, you're just going to go into that palettes menu and swipe left and it will export as a Procreate palette file. From there, that'll be what you upload to Etsy as a digital file or wherever else you intend on selling digital goods. If you liked this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and do all of the YouTube things, and I will hopefully be bringing you more tutorials for Etsy digital projects soon. Bye!